Water Wraith, Amphibio Sapiens, Unknown Family. All that is known about these creatures stems from a few sightings deep underground. All reported sightings feature the same core set of details. A giant, viscous form with a clear, hazy sheen, not unlike hard candy. One theory holds that it may be the ectoplasmic incarnation of a kind of psychic phenomenon, but as is usually the case with such theories, it is very difficult to prove. All witnesses report being suddenly overcome with fear upon sighting the creature, approaching a state of panic and near insanity. In fact, every report contains an inordinate amount of extremely vague details, which has led to suspicions that exhaustion and fear have caused some simple natural phenomenon to be viewed as a living creature. Spooky. It's like, what's that? It says it even real. <laughs> I don't know. Hard to say. I, 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 we might have just imagined that. Yeah. We're gonna, like, Olimar, you know, writes, you know, reports like he wasn't there. You know, he, he writes like he's reading stuff that other people wrote about these creatures. True. Maybe he, like, his, like, suit camera or something is, like, recording a bunch of stuff. And, like, when he, when he gets back to Hogatate, people, like, examine it academically and give him zero credit. So where are we at right now? Uh, well, today is going to be Surface Treasures Day. Yeah. Um, we have, I think, like, three or two to get. Um, uh, hopefully we're gonna get them all. If we don't, well, that sucks. Uh, but we'll be back. Yeah, this location? The Perplexing Pool. Yeah, the Perplexing Pool for Flexing Fools. <laughs> nice. Hey, can, can you just whistle that guy? He would've popped out. That's true! I can do that now. I'm excited to see that come into effect, actually. Um, I've never gotten it before. I also haven't actually played this game before. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, not not before we were recording, no. Huh. I just I just really like the game. And I've seen people that I like play it. Um, and when I was, like, 15, 16, maybe a bit younger, I used to uh, read Wikipedia entries of the Pikmin enemies. So I thought it was really cool that they had so much like, not real science, but you know, science going into them. Mm -hmm. With like fake species names. And I used to like think about making like fake Pikmin enemies, hmm. um, which were all really just like recolor offshoots of existing yeah. Pikmin enemies, but still. Have you played Pikmin 1? Not yet, huh. but I own it now. I got it from that one sour guy at the record shop at the mall. Who who was sour because I saw Pikmin 1 on sale for like not a lot of money. Or well, no. Huh. I, I saw it on sale for like a lot of money actually. And I was like, who would buy this uh, physically? Because <laughs> the game is available like I was pretty sure on like the Wii shop. Like eShop so it should not have been going for the price it was going for there. Um, and the dude got salty at me but I was like no, I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> like Way to show yourself. I mean, it was still, it's still Pikmin. Yeah. And I like owning physical copies of my games because I don't want to trust the online market yeah. and downloading and stuff. Yeah, that's that, that's entirely fair. I'm imagining like, you know, pick, like a, a Pikmin environment that's like more mechanical than natural. Mm -hmm. We see that underground a lot. Like the like rusty areas. Yeah, that's true. And I and I also know, you know, the those like spiders. Yeah. Were uh, the man the, legs. Yeah, the man legs. Yeah. I, I you know, the more I think about it, I, I do still want to see a Pikmin game that like you know, has like like non earth environments. I don't know, like or, or, or like weirder environments. Hmm. I don't know. I, I like like I'd like to see like a, a Pikmin game where it's like you know, the 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 world map is like you know, a bunch of different planets or something, or like maybe like a you're going through like a a weird abandoned spaceship. That would be weird and abandoned. Yeah, like a like one of them um, star Sinto. foxes or meshoids. There's treasure. There. Whoa. Okay. It's a lot of doing thing. Actually, yeah, let's. We want to separate. President, you can watch over them hitting this thing. And then Olimar, you're gonna 
go with this yellow squad. Yeah, in- invading that nest. Olimar with human yeah. proportions. Olimar would be hot. And f- probably really fit, considering all the, like, planet trekking he does. It's like a dilf. Mm. No? I mean, I'm just gonna let you keep talking. <laughs> yeah, this... I mean, I'm sad. I mean, like, I, I, I get it. Like, I, you know, Olimar like, no, is no, a dad. Like, nothing that you said is wrong. I don't know, I just get, like, I get more of a dad bod vibe from Olimar. Not the president? I mean, the person, you know, like, the president wouldn't be that different if he had human proportions. Ah, He'd be, oh. like, a, a big, like, fatter guy. Yeah. Also, just, just morally, I don't like the president. You don't want to consider him attractive? Yeah. For moral reasons? I mean, like, like... Like, 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 like Olimar is the only, like, valid person here. <laughs> like, 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 do you think, would you say Louie would be hot? Um, in the same way that Severus I mean, Snape can be hot. <laughs> Wait. What traits do they have in common? Um, well, they're both creepy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, not in the same way, I don't think. I think, I think both Louis and Severus Snape, or I guess this is, well, Severus Snape did this, but I believe that Louis would also, like, fall in love with a girl who does not at all return his feelings and then, uh, torture her I, child from Well, the thing is, I, I don't, person. I don't think, like, I don't think Louis, like, w- would, I, I don't think love would be, like, what, 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 what uh, what, like, <laughs> motivates him. Food? Yeah, yeah, something like that. You wouldn't, like, fall in love with a girl's cooking? Maybe. Ah, here we go. A treasure. Like Sephiroth Snape. Name. Gherkin Gate. Ah, Gherkin Gate. What a scandal. (laughs) That sounds like a good, uh, Invader Zim joke. I don't know enough about that series to make a more complicated joke. I don't know enough about that series to understand why that would even be related. Oh, because of the uh, third, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't get that until you explained it. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I'm jerking your gherkin. Yeah. Only if I must. What the fuck, guys? If I must. Did you see the blues carry that through water and almost drown <laughs> a purple and red? Yeah. Do you know much about, like, the actual game of Skylanders? No. No. As, as far as I'm aware, it is just a, a case to sell, like, bootleg Amiibos. Or I guess the yeah. original Amiibos, technically. Yeah. Like, I can have Spyro's there. Yeah, it's, it, I guess it's technically a Spyro game, Yeah, right? it's, yeah. Uh, uh, it's uh, like, yes! You know, the, the original incarnation of Skylanders was, like, was called Spyro's Adventure Skylanders, I think. Or maybe it was Skylanders mm-hmm. Spyro's Adventure. Probably that, it's probably the second one, because that sounds, it just sounds better. It's taking half a day to get that um, one. But the point was, it was marketed like a Spyro game, but then, it, you know, Spyro isn't really featured that prominently in it. Mm-hmm. You know, just because, like, you can play as any of the little figure guys. Yeah. Like, why would you play as Spyro when you can play as Donkey Kong? Or Bowser. Or, Bowser. or Stealth Elf. Yeah. Um, is that... I like Stealth Elf. Like, I, they're, they're, like, I, I like some of the Skylanders. You're gonna have to tell me who Stealth Elf is. It's just like a... Like, I can show you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Oh, there it is! I'm seeing it. A green elf. No, I should be a blue. Oh, this is. Oh, ah. like they—they they are green. Okay, yeah, I'm a fan of that. Okay. This is good. I wish you could get like a a, a Pikmin style look at this. You mm-hmm. know, like ro- rotate it around, have the ship dead name it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's I... not what dead naming means. What? What? Why did you say it? Because <laughs> I, I was trying to think of like, like you know, naming something incorrectly, like p- 
post mortem uh, naming. Mm -hmm. I like Stealth Elf. I bought I bought this yeah. just because I like the design of the character. Yeah. I don't even think I ever played it in the game. I didn't like I played the game a little bit, and like mm. it's not bad. Mm -hmm. oh, it's it's like good. average. Oh shit, we're gonna lose some guys. I'm disappointed the, the, the like twist life thing kind of like died out because uh, Le Lincoln Dimensions was good, and and like I know they had plans for it, but. I, I do intend, like, I have all the important things that I would want to play with that. All the... If, like, your team is ready. Well, I mean, like, made. as in, like, like certain like certain characters have, like, you know, entire levels and that, that come with them. Like, you know, there's the Adventure Time level, there's the Portal level, and, oh. and they're all pretty good. Like, there, there are, like, there, there's weird variety in terms of the amount of, like, work that was put into them. Like, the Simpsons stuff is, like, Weirdly, very limited. Like they only got like a couple voice actors, and like, you know, whereas with something like Portal, somehow they got like all the voice actors doing new stuff, and like there's a new song. Is and everything. it hard to get voice actors for something like The Simpsons? I don't know. It was it's weird. Cause Cause like, like, do those people do anything else? I don't think so. Like that shit's been running for like twenty years now, right? Mm -hmm. You're. you're you could just walk into like an office and be like, "Yeah, I I do Marge Simpson," and they'd be like, "Go ahead." Like, yeah. I know that like they, they, they didn't even get the voice for Bart, and Bart's one of the playable like characters. Like that's he's just like a shitty kid, right? Like, yeah, but like like you know, like you don't even get to hear him say like you know, "Don't have a cow, man." Like, I, I, I Bart have, says. Or eat my shorts. Oh, that, yeah, that is a thing he says. I, I have heard that that Bart's voice actress is like a Scientologist. Or... Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that, that, that... And, and she got like she got in hot water once for like going on a radio show and using the Bart voice to promote it. <laughs> you know, without without the consent of Warner Brothers mm. whoever owns The Simpsons. God. Because they're, yeah, it must be different for like every you know different show or character. Because like I mean I've seen like the the, the clip of like a, a Jimmy Neutron, like oh like 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 oh you're going in the penis box. Ah, uh, of course yeah. the Jimmy Neutron classic. Yeah. You know if you watch the show you'd understand. Mm -hmm. I, I originally saw a, a video about Zatch Bell. Uh, yeah, which, which is an anime that you know I, I didn't you know I know nothing about it. I was just like, hey, a funny video about an old anime. Sure, I'll check it out. And like, you know, apparently, the, like in in the dub, the voice of the titular Zatch Bell is exactly Jim Neutron's <laughs> voice. <laughs> huh? Huh? I was expecting this to end in a Zach Bell reference. Because because Zach Bell is it? So it's actually I, I saw like. Looking back, I know that it was Zatch Bell, but I didn't really, like, process any of it. Like, I think Zatch Bell was one of those anime that, like, it was on, and I saw it, but I don't think... Oh, uh, like, I never saw it. Yeah, like, like, I, I only knew it existed from hearing the title. Yeah, like, it, you know, I, like, I recognized, like, there was a little horse dude, and that was it. I'm gonna be that guy. What is Zatch Bell? It's, it's an anime. But, it's about, like, like these... Uh, Demons and each demon comes with like a book of spells that they can cast or something. Oh. And and they're like in this uh, like thousand demon battle royale. Ooh, okay. It, yeah. it, it's and, and I think like, like I think you know like each demon has to be paired with a human who acts as like their Pokemon trainer or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and like Zatch Bell is the main character. He's mm -hmm. like a puppet boy. Yeah. Huh. I've like. Oh, well, it's yeah. I want you know like. It's one of those anime, like, I I want to watch it at some point, J just because, like, I, I'm I'm curious. Like, on a conceptual level. I mean, yeah. Does interest you? Yeah, like, like... Come on, guys. Okay, tomorrow, we're going to bring more blue boys, and we're going to destroy this wall better. Yeah, the reason I started talking about Skylanders is because, like, the villain of, this, of the plot of Skylanders is, like... You know, they, they, they got, like, Richard Roberts to do his voice, and, uh, you know, they just, I guess they just told him, like, yeah, you know, you were Zim, so just do, just be Zim again. <laughs> I see. Like. Wait, is the main, is this character we're talking about, do they sound like Jimmy Neutron, or do they sound like Zim? Well, well, 
the, the character who sounds like Zim is in Skylanders. Oh. The character who sounds like Jimmy Neutron is Zatch Bell. Oh, from okay. Zatch Bell. Shit. The anime. I got that mixed up. Mm -hmm. The same character. The, yeah. I, I don't, I'm not familiar at all with, with Invader Zim, but is. Is that also the voice actor of uh, Billy? Yes. Okay, yeah, I, I'm, I'm more familiar with that. You know, I've never connected those two in my head until right now, but that makes perfect sense. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just weird when someone, you know, has an iconic voice and then, the, you know, other, you know, in other productions still just, just say, yeah, just do that one again. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what you're known for. But the thing is that it's, it's a character that's known for that voice, <laughs> so it's weird. Yeah. Mm. Louie, I sent you some of the preserved bug foods from home. You should share some with your company president. As a kid, bugs loved you so much. Always nibbling. Where's, where is Louie right now? I forgot. Um, that's what we're trying to find out. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, we came back because we left a man behind. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I, 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 for, I forgot the situation. Yeah. We we saw like a fake end credit sequence of him wandering around. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe them bugs supposedly. nibbled him. All right, we we got two left in there. Uh, we can check out these treasures. We can check out the Gherkin Gate. Yeah. That we a achieved today. Brand new. Staring at this symbol tantalizes my taste buds. I've never observed this before, but my sight and sense of taste appear to be connected. Perhaps this is some new kind of psychological advertising. I'll have to tell the ship about it. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, in exploit anything I can. And, in, 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 like, invent advertising. I wish you could spin them on this screen instead of, like, looking around at yeah. nothing. Can you, like, throw pickle? I mean... No. Yeah. Not, not on this one. Okay. Last episode, baby. Yeah.